Hello, everyone. This is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill. And over there is John Lewandowski. How you doing, John? Good. Well, it's good to be back. Mm-hmm. Whew. I had a heck of a night. Saw a bunch of people I haven't seen in a while because some people are in town for the holidays and you know their family members picked up their season tickets and they came to the game because they're in town for the holidays. Really cool, fun atmosphere for the Admirals. Also, free the UFO night. Roscoe has been found. He's slightly disoriented and doesn't know where he is, but I think that's how he is all the time. <laughs> Roscoe's just a goofy character. I, we love him as our mascot. Thanks, Roscoe, for all the entertainment. Um, you know, I would say that today was a big game for the Admirals, but that would be an understatement since we were on our first slide of the year and we really needed some help. And right. we kind of got it. But... Um, yeah, a, a good game all around, fun. Um, not so bad on the refereeing side, but I'll let John take over from here. All right, so the Milwaukee Admirals took on the Chicago Wolves today. Shots on goal in the first period, Milwaukee outshot Chicago 10-6. to In the second period, Chicago outshot Milwaukee 14-13. to in the third period, Chicago outshot Milwaukee 10 to 9. And in total, Milwaukee outshot Chicago 32 to 30. <clears throat> now on the power play, Chicago went one for three with eight minutes, four infractions. And Milwaukee was the same at one for three, eight minutes, four infractions. All right, now let's get into the game. Scoring in the first period at the 307 mark is Anthony Honka, his third of the year, assisted by Tuka Texola and Joseph, his sixth, and Joseph Labate, his third. That's for Chicago. At the 11.45 mark, the Admirals get on the board with a goal from Tim Schaller, his sixth of the year, assisted by Luke Evangelista, his 16th, and Kevin Graval, his seventh. At the 1938 mark on the power play, the Admirals get on the board again from Kiefer Shearwood, his 11, assisted by Phil Tomasino, his 6, and Jordan Gross, his 10. I would also like to add in that Tim Schaller goal was very well set up. Yeah. Um, as well as the Kiefer Shearwood goal. Um, very well set up plays. Um, they got back to their game and they didn't step off it at all. You know, in the beginning of the game, it looked like Chicago came out running with the momentum that they've had from their last few games where they've won. And uh, Milwaukee went, nope, we're going to our game. And we played a very chippy physical game with them. And it's a rivalry, so it is. That's how it's always going to be. Right. Starting in the second at the 1429 mark is the captain. Cole Schneider with his 11th with an assist from Jordan Gross, his 11th. Then scoring in the third at the 7.35 mark, unassisted, was Igor Afanasyev. That goal was his eighth. That goal was also shorty. Short-handed goal. Um, I believe Tomasino was, yep, Tomasino was in the box. Literally a minute late, less than a minute later, because we were still on the power play, Noel Gundler scores his fourth with an assist from Ronan Seeley. And multi uh Strumwall. Uh Sealy six, Strumwall's eleventh. That's on the power play as well. And then John Leonard Leonard scores his fourth empty net goal. Admirals pick up two points. Snap a I believe this was a six game slide. Yes, six game slide. I'm um, not counting two overtime, uh, two shootout losses. Um, the Admirals now sit second in the uh, division. Uh, we have played two more than Manitoba, who is a point behind us, and we've played two less than Texas, who are, well, I think it's like 
five points ahead of us. They have more overtime losses. Um, so going forward, out of the holiday, obviously, I wish the Admirals players a happy and festive holidays. Yeah. Um, really, really enjoyed the Admirals post earlier of uh, Jimmy Huntington's suit for the for the game. It was like a red and green suit with Christmas candy canes and all kinds of stuff on it. It was very funky looking. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, uh, for as much as the Admirals do, um, they did a lot a great job today with the promotion and building for the game. And just so that you know, if you went today and they because they won, you get a free ticket to a future Admirals weekday game, which will be December 27th. Now, may I also add in, if you want one, go get one. The Admirals score four. You get a free Frosty. Go ahead. I would recommend doing it within the next four hours, but, you know, <laughs> good luck. Um... So uh, yes, the uh, admirals give you give out free frosties. So part two of our show, we have a couple things to talk about in this one. Um, but I'm gonna let John get into that while I prepare for it. All right. So the Predators took on the Blackhawks today. Shots on goal, the Blackhawks outshot the Predators 39 to 37. Face off percentage, the Blackhawks were better 52% to 48%. On the power play, the Predators went one for two, the Blackhawks 0 for four. Penalty minutes, the Predators had eight, the Blackhawks had four. <clears throat> Hits, the Blackhawks had 27, the Predators had 20. Blocks, the Blackhawks had 17, the Predators had 13. Giveaways, the Blackhawks had 10, the Predators had 6. <sighs> Scoring in the first period at the 9.23 mark was Niederreiter, his 11th, assisted by Glass, his 5th, and Fabro, his 5th. Scoring in the second was... Uh... Hunter Murphy with his third with an assist from Katowchuk is second and Dobe his 11th. That was at the 16.03 mark of the second. Then the Blackhawks take the lead with Mackenzie Edgewistle his second with an assist from Murphy his second. Then Matt Duchesne not, ties it back up at the uh, 19.55 mark. Couldn't have taken any longer on that one, could you? Um mm-hmm. His ninth with an assist from Ekholm, his eighth, and Carrier his first. Carrier has been playing very well since coming back from his injury. I think that time away gave him confidence, that got him his confidence back. Yeah. Well, with this play, history was made. Roman Yossi scores his seventh of the year at the 127 mark, giving the Preds a two, uh, a three to two lead. With an assist from McDonough, his seventh. Welcome back. I saw that he was wearing a field, uh, full shield. He'll probably have to wear that for the next couple weeks because he came back early, but he wants to play. I give him the, the toughness card. He earns it. Uh, then with an assist also from Yuso Parson in his third. Good to see Parson back on the stat sheet. Then scoring on the power play. The guy who we've been toting for a call-up pretty much since the end of last season, Tommy Novak. His first of the season with an assist from Roman Yossi, his 18th, and Yuso Parson in his fourth. That was scored on the power play. And with that assist, the Preds have a all a brand new all-time leader in points. The former leader. The long-time wonderful captain. I understand that, you know, things weren't the greatest early years with the Preds. But David Legwand held this team together for a very long time. 
And Roman Yossi passes him with 567 points. And he did it in 791 games. It took David Leguand 956 games played for the Nashville Predators. Now, if you're wondering who's on that active list that's anywhere close to passing Leguan to become second all-time, it's actually Phil Forsberg, and he is at 494. The number to hit is 566. So there's that also. Um, I, I, I played the part of uh, Dodo Bird today. Um, I forgot something. In the Admiral's video. No. So I apologize, folks. Um, I will get back to that in a second. But uh, in this... Uh, Preds game in net, which is what I forgot, <laughs> was UC Soros stopping 37 of 39 with a .949 save percentage. Um, and that for the Blackhawks was Peter Morazic. He stopped 33 of 37 with a .892 save percentage. Your referees were John McIsaac and Brendan Paladia. Uh, linesmen were Shandor Alfonso and Ben O'Quinn. Head coach for Nashville's John Hines. Head coach for Chicago's Luke Richardson. Scratches for Nashville were Mark Jankowski and Michael McCarron. Scratches for Chicago were... Colin Blackwell, Reese Johnson, and Caleb Jones. <sighs> now, back to what I was actually, like, what I forgot over here on the Admiral site. Like I said, I apologize. We're such in a happy-go-lucky mood, I forgot all about the goaltenders. And that for the Admirals was Yaroslav Askarov. He stopped 28 of 30 with uh, two penalty minutes as well for a delay of game call. Uh, Zachary Sachenko stopped 27 of 31 with four goals against. Um, Cal Morris is the backup there in Chicago. Uh, Devin Cooley is the backup. There. <clears throat> Head coach for Chicago is Brock, Brock Sheenan. Uh, assistant coach Patrick Dwyer and uh, Bob Nardella. Goaltending coach is Stan Dubik, Dubinick. Uh, head coach for Nashville is Carl Taylor, assistant coach Scott Ford, and Greg Rollo, goaltending coach Dave Rook. Attendance at the UW Panther Arena was 3,103. Uh, live referees were Kyle Pullman and Mike Dietrich. Uh, linesman is Joseph Mannon and Jonathan Sladek. We will. Be back on the 27th. Uh, so uh, the game on Friday, expect a graphic from us. Um, we are working out all the small details at the current moment on that. But um, me and John have, with the storm impending and a lot of the things going on, um, we're just playing it safe and leaving our uh, our our door open, as you say, because right. um, we got to make sure that you know um, the holidays happen, and you know don't want to make have no mistakes there. So thank you guys for watching. Have a happy holidays. And you know me, I don't care about PC. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of you. And be safe. The weather, this weather is nothing to joke with. Stay safe, my friends. Bye.